Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Aquarius, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, okay? This is an all about love message, love reading for the Aquarius sign. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for the Aquarius sign, please. What is the love message for your Aquarius, all right? What can I get for you? So the focus of this reading, this love message, this love reading, the main focus is to connect into the current energies of you and your person. And we will be looking into the next action of them. If there is new love, I will also let you know. But this is a love message. Seven of Pentacles. The chariot card. The connecting energy between the two of is the chariot card. Your person. Eight of Swords. Okay. Looks like a stalemate. Let's see. Let's pull some clarifying cards. Okay. So you're starting off the reading with the Queen of Swords. You've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the Knight of Cups. You know, Aquarius, you're wondering... When will this person take you seriously? Um, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. You're following them on their social media. You are, you're wondering what is happening to your person. Like when will you get their serious attention? Like something tells me, when will you ever come back to me and take me seriously? When will I get the Knight of Pentacles to you, from you? You're waiting from this person. Update. Like you're always on the watch. Yeah, oh my gosh, the king, the queen and the king. Look at that. You really like this person. It could be someone right now. It could be someone in the past. But you really like this person. You watch them. You watch them. You really... For some reason, I'm, I'm kind of picking up Aquarius that you have been... You're watching them like a hawk. Like that. Um, to a point that it stresses you out because the minute you pick up the... The minute you pick up the phone, the first thing that you would do is to, to look at something connected to them, okay? I don't think you're stalking them. I Because your vibe is very nice, you know? I just really feel like your energy is in between. You're manifesting them back. Like you're manifesting them to return a very serious attention with you. Like you're so eager to talk to them in a very serious conversation. Like there is something in you that I wish they would look at me. They would take me seriously. Something about this person where like you're so eager. You're so eager for them to talk to you, to call you, to text you. You're so eager for love. When it comes to this person. Because you've got a knight of cups. You know. You're you're always waiting. Something like that. But you're. I don't think you're mad. I don't think. You're, you're so nice. You know. Like. I really pick up that. You're eager. For this per. You're so eager. Like I'm kind of picking up the word eagerness. I don't think you're stupid too. I don't think. You know. I'm, I'm sorry for the word. But. You're simply. A very patient Aquarius. That. One day you will love me. One day I hope you will look at me. You will love me. Something like that. Because I don't I don't sense that you're desperate. You know. It's really like you are just a kind soul. Who is telling the universe that one day 
I really hope this person sees me as a good lover, as a good friend or something to like you're so eager that one day it will happen that you that they will give you a knight of cups. You're very patient towards this person. I know that you've been through a lot with this person and yet you sit here patiently hoping that they would look at you and I don't know I don't think you're even mad you're just let's keep it simple sunshine this is unconditional love you know you can call me this you can call me that but I'll sit here I hope one day they will look at me something like that yeah now your person They have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. They have an offer for you. But it's taking them so long, Aquarius. Because, you know, this person is... If you look at this, this is your person. They have so many things in line in their life. Maybe this person, they have kids. Maybe they've got business. The person that you want, the romantic connection that you want eagerly. They have an offer for you. And it's connected to when they finish something. Yeah, ten of wands. Your person finds your connection complicated. You, however, find it easy. You know the solution. They find it complicated. But they're not saying it's not possible. It's just complicated. And also, they've got a golden opportunity. Like, this person has to complete or do something before they can offer the Ace of Pentacles. You know, it's not going to happen overnight i'm seeing at least four months from now aquarius for your person to work things out with whatever they need to complete because they're reading experimenting exploring but they've got an ace of pentacles for you and this ace of pentacles it's it's still buried and they need to block it up you've got an offer from this person the one that you love, yeah. This person, from time to time, they will text you, call you. They might ask you for a date. They might ask to see you. But they might also run away, you know. This person could be traveling. You could be dealing with like a no strings attached in this uh, reading, Aquarius. You guys are soulmate. That's why it's so hard for you to be so angry or mad with this person. Because when they were with you, they really, really treat you nice. Like when this person calls you or texts you or date you, you can really feel the goodness in their heart. But you're simply not the priority. It's, it's a reading where you know that this person likes you. Possibly you know that this person is in love with you. But love is not their priority. There's something, someone else. There's ambition, there's money, there's also kids, there's also responsibilities with family. That is their priority. And if you are an Aquarius who would really get into the way of them performing the responsibility, they would really drop you off. This is a person who, um, Eight of Swords, they will not engage with anybody they will not take care of a love relationship if it's going to derail or distract them from their priority this is a person who would choose their ambition over love and i feel like this person they've got in, they've got interesting priorities line up or people line up and i'm seeing a four months four weeks to four months in here this person is very adventurous like this person is very adventurous like emotionally 
they have deep feelings for you. But practically, to commit to you, it's half-hearted. The other half is consumed by research, I don't know, money, kids. Maybe they've got ten of wands as well. Maybe they keep moving. They've got heavy responsibilities. In this reading, if things is not working with you because you're more ready and more available versus this person. But in spite of you yearning, eagering, eager for them, I still feel like you're also open to other new love opportunity, Aquarius. I hope so. Because you're such a nice soul, you know, whoever you are, I'm connecting with. You don't have a negativity in your heart. You still want, want them in spite of everything. Like you're a zero negative vibe in this reading. You're just plain and simple. You love, hanging in love. You love it unconditionally. But your, your heart is also open to another person, like new love. Yeah. You're getting to a point, possibly next month, you're getting to a point where I'm sad now, sunshine, or I don't want to be alone. And I feel like it will come to terms. Because I'm kind of picking up right now, you're still very much devoted and eager to this person. But in your own rhythm, you will find yourself, okay, I feel like I have allocated enough time of yearning and being eager with you and you will replace that energy and you will yearn for another person or for new love right now it's still them but i'm seeing you in the immediate future you get tired you get tired of being you get tired of being kind and giving and flexible and yearning and being eager with this person you'll get to a point where you will get tired in your own rhythm, in your own time, you will do that. I can't tell it when, possibly next month, but I'm seeing you come out of yearning and eagering with this person. Because right now, I could, I could feel you. You're not, you've done your shadow work. You're zero negative, you're zero negative vibe. You're simply like, I love you. And love liberates people. You're one of the most thinking out of the box individual Aquarius. I, I love your energy. You know, you think of, think out of the box. So, yeah, I'm seeing you come out of this free will. So take it easy. There's new love for you. There's new love for you. I see it in here. So take it easy. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. It's always a pleasure connecting with you guys for private reading and for the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. Thank you so much again, Aquarius. I'll connect with you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.